Okay, at this point, this is just downright scary what happened again. And I'll just say before I to say it, uh, it is used, but for all purposes, condition, the condition of it, here it is. Mint in the box. Avocado mixer. The only thing out of place is, this one's from 1970. The model R19, three speeds, detachable cord. And it's the same brand as my can opener back there, and same as the can opener, it too had a five-year warranty. But there it is. The Iona can, or not can opener, the the mixer! What the hell am I thinking here? It is complete. There's the paperwork, which I will demonstrate in just a moment. First, we'll start with the box. In the box. Uh, it says, obviously manufactured October 1970. Serial number is 4000, apparently. At the top of the box. Let's see here, I'm trying to do everything like the camera and mirror imaged here. Yeah, and other than that, that's uh, all that's new in the box, and that's what the inside of the box looked like. Just like the can opener, same card, five year warranty. The manual. Uh, let's see. Oh, there's my can opener on the back. All right. <laughs> hair dryers. Let's see. Okay. Okay. They have hair dryers, drink masters, or drink drink mixers. Where did I get that? At? Shoe polishers, uh, cord and cordless electric knives, and portable stationary bowl mixers. And electric blenders. Printed in the USA, August 1970. Yeah, I'm not gonna go. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, quick glimpse at the manual here. Uh, I'll just hold it there for like a few seconds and just pause the video. If you need to read it. And here's the actual instructions. Uh, the unit does have a, um, it is wall mountable. And, uh, yeah, I'm just taking a quick look at it. The only thing I did do to it when I got it, I, just, when I, I took it apart. It's like brand new inside. The only thing I did, I uh, greased up the gears in there. The old grease hardened. And this came off in like dark brown globs of hardened grease, whatever. I don't know where I'm going with this. Okay. And I polished it up with Novus Plastic Polish. And what's this? Oh wait, this thing opens up. Oh, even tells you how to make homemade mayonnaise in here. Oh man. Ah, uh, let's see. Oh, well, we saw that. And then it tells you how to, uh, where am I? I can't even see what I'm doing. Uh, I'm doing it backwards. Okay. Yeah, I just think it's funny that my can opener is in there too. Yeah. And uh, even has the little tag that must have been tied around it at one point. Boasting the five year warranty. Quality you can trust, value you can recognize. This one was printed September 1970. And while we're on the topic of mixers and vintage high quality here, 
Okay, at my mom's house, she has a Black & Decker mixer from 1989 that still works perfectly. She was at Walmart, of all places, and bought a new Black & Decker mixer. You know, Walmart. It broke the first time it was out of the box. I said, why did you buy this thing? She was old, the old one was old. I'm like, it was old, that thing was 20 years old. I'm like, well, it's still good, and it'll be good for another 20, even 40. I don't know, that's, that's just the problem today. But, uh, everybody thinks, oh, it's old, it's old. Old is better. I don't know where... Okay, this is the mixer up close. The I own. And there's the jack button. Three speed, off, low, medium, high. And this is in mint condition. It's all polished up with Novus. First I used Novus 2, then Novus 1. Uh, the sticker's slightly uh, chopped off, like right, perfectly down the sides. I don't know what happened there, but the rest of it's intact. A uh, little fan here in the front. Sucks in air. I uh, can't see what they're doing right there. The beaters, which I just washed in the sink. Um, and there's the date code on the bottom, 43rd week of 1970. And the thing about, oh yeah, it is detachable cord on this, which is nice. The only thing is I'm not going to be able to give a demonstration of me making anything because I don't have anything to make. I have no ingredients or anything. If I was going to make something, I'd make a cake. But we'll just show the blender. What the hell? It's a mixer. Why keep, I'm getting everything mixed up tonight. But here, here's low. Medium. Trying to get it all in the picture here. Then here's high. Seeing a mixing bowl going in and around. Actually, no, I'm trying to do this just right there. It's sitting right in front of the Iona can opener, which sounds like, at least from my previous video, which you may have seen, a hydraulic pump. It's turbocharged. <laughs> so it sounds like this thing is like, it'll tear through any can. What's nice about the can opener, the Iona can opener, it has a universal. Uh, motor in it instead of a typical, you know, AC motor. The one that goes yin, 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 yin. This one goes rah. It's like destroys. It doesn't destroy the can. It cuts it really nice, but it's like nothing slows it down. It's like wah. And it's chop. And it's, it's a knife sharpener, too. So I never tried a knife sharpening part. but So, yeah, so there you go, the hand mixer. Bye, Iona.